Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Well, right now, a lot has happened in the past few hours that is shocking the whole nation. As we speak, Abakiare has been moved out of Kuja prison after what happened some hours ago. Remember, uh, UGM, um, Kuja prison came under attack by UGM. A lot of things happened that was not immediately reported, but right now there are full details coming up. We're going to give you the full details in a moment in the G for you. Before we do that, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel. Click on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead. Click on it to get notified as well as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Let's start with what happened uh, with the Kiari, Abakiari. Several inmates have escaped from Kujo prison following what happened on the facility on Tuesday night. Uh, the, this UGM launched a move against them at about 10.30 p.m. and and it's currently unclear if there were casualties. There are, actually. However, it was gathered that other inmates have been removed from the facility, including suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari, who was remanded at the prison by a federal high court. Kiari is standing trial for alleged dealing, allegedly dealing in um, drug alongside four members of his former police units, the Inspector General of Police, Intelligence Response Unit, IRT, and all uh, and two other persons arrested at the Akano Ibiam International Airport in Enugu, Enugu State in January this year. Kujo Prison was established in 1989, has maximum and minimum holding cells with over 700 inmates. The Nigerian Correctional Services, NCS, has confirmed the attack, adding that men of the armed squad of the Nigerian Correctional Service and other security agencies attached to the Correctional Center have responded and calm, uh, and calm has been restored to the facility and the situation is now under control. But when it all happened, Nigerians were wondering what is going on. Well, according to the other news, still on the same Kujay prison issue, the NCOS Service Public Relations Officer, SPRO, Mr. Bubaka Omar, confirmed what happened. Uh, the Nigerian Correctional Center, NCOS, on one as they confirmed that UGM came against the min medium security cost custodial center Abuja with uh, a lot of instruments on Tuesday night. The NCOS Service Public Relations Officer, SPRO, Mr. Bubaka Omar, confirmed this and added that the security operatives were trying to salvage the situation. Re there's a report earlier that this UGM suspected to be terrorist carried out this move against Kuja Correctional Facility around 10 p.m., during which hundreds of inmates escaped. Can you hear the gunshot? They said, we are under serious move against these guys. One of the sources said, meanwhile, the Service Public Relations Officer, SPRO Omar, confirmed the incident in a statement on Wednesday in Abuja. He said, I wish to confirm that at about... 12, I take that again, at about 22.00 hours, some yet to be identified UGM had moved against the medium security custodial center, Kuje, in the federal capital territory, Abuja. However, many of the armed squad of the Nigerian Correctional Service and other security agencies attached to the Correctional Center have responded and calm has been restored to the facility and the situation is under control. Other details will be made available soon. Most of the 700 inmates at Kuje Correctional Facility in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, escaped. My God! Well, Sahara reporter has actually learned that most of the inmates have escaped from the facility. It's sad. It, it houses over 700 inmates. It's just said. Kuje Prison was established in 1989 and he said it is famous for holding high profile offenders including former governors and ministers now this is very bad news in every true sense of the word it is bad bad because if their inmates have escaped that means um in no distant time just assuming and i may not be totally wrong okay no distant time will be we will be seeing a high a level of um criminality in abuja and its environment we'll be hearing a lot of criminal or offenses committed around because these are guys who are supposed to be in kuji 
Uh, some of them may still be awaiting trials. Some may actually be fully convicted criminals, finding their way back into the streets, into the homes. Uh, God help Nigerians living in that environment. This is really not too good. Uh, I, I, I don't know uh, this. To start with, to start out with uh, the presidential convoy, um, advanced convoy, they went ahead of the president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, ahead of the Salah, the, the, according to what we heard, uh, that the president was uh, in about to spend Salah in his hometown and decided to, you know, his security people decided to move ahead. Hence, there was an ambush. Uh, well, according to a media person to the president, she will, she will confirm that the gallantry of the security was strong enough to repel them and celebrated them. To start with, it was even wrong for a presidential convoy to come in any form under any guise under attack. It's so wrong. It's not correct. It's condemnable. It's not It's not head off, really. Even if it's so, it shouldn't be a norm. And we keep hearing of that now. With this, this is really scary. And Somewhat, almost concurrently, you know, Kujie prison also were moved against. When Nigerians keep shouting, the level of insecurity is bad. And when we kept, kept on hearing things like um, uh, our, our, our security uh, bridges have been abused, I, I, keep, I keep wondering. And Nigerians are still playing to the gallery. The government of the day needs, really needs to look into this. But with these people, uh, inmates escaping into the environment, the environment of um, of Abuja, it, it's worrisome. Honestly, it's worrisome. The question is, some persons, some some persons said they were actually uh, convicted uh, uh, Boko Haramis, but I'm just wondering how many have they convicted. These guys were given amnesty, so when did they convict them and put them in Kuji? Except, of course, there's any secret trial, which we know, we did not know about. So uh, maybe some other persons definitely not them. But what, as it is now, the, the, the people living in Abuja honestly need to double up their security. They need to stay awoke. They need to be security conscious. Uh, and I don't know if we have good bio uh, where biometrics where we can easily identify these guys and uh, pick them up. That's one of the beautiful things about the, the advanced country. CCTV camera everywhere. Your last, you know, your, your biometrics everywhere. Your last transaction and all would have easily be captured. But Nigeria does not have such um, great facilities. Too bad though. Okay, let's see the parts of Nigerians. Nigerians are talking just take one or two and we'll wrap this up this one here is saying this attack was well planned and some people in authority are to be questioned how can an operation last for an hour in a national capital unhindered maybe releasing them for general election ahead i guess mm, nigerians are talking oh and that person here say imagine my dear this one shocked me to one hour operation without hindrance where are all our security personnel? All the, the army, the DSS, the police, the Air Force, and so on. Now, wow. And that person here say, the DSS uh, after Sunday, boo, and now they can funny. Okay, that's we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. What's the